Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here to do this card here today. Okay, let's get the first thing out of the way. Um, stuck on my weight. Um, uh, lost 32 pounds so far still. And uh, so I've been stretched for about a month. But we're going to keep moving forward on that. Anyway, what today we're going to talk about is to give you guys a plan so that you can, most importantly, in my mind, I'm calling it the Fear Reducer Trade Setup uh, card. Because we're trying to find a way for you guys to not be as fearful in the marketplace when you're starting to trade with live money. Because everybody has that, it's, oh, I'm stuck, and every time I switch from sim mode to live mode, I, you know, I lose track of, you know, what it is, and all of a sudden, I, I you know, I'm afraid, and, and so there's a few reasons for that. Okay. What I found is that, you know, one of the reasons that you're afraid is that you don't believe you have the correct knowledge. So, you know, for, so that's a very important thing for you to understand. You have to have the correct knowledge. Now, you're going to have to get a mentor that can help you to get that correct knowledge. So, get that. Now, the second thing is, is that most people are not put prepared. So, I call this is proper prior planning presents powerful possibilities for you in your trading. So, that's Peter the Six. Yes, I know that some people call me the mad scientist, but that's Peter the Six. Okay? Now, you've got to get some real-world wins underneath your belt. That's the other thing that you've got to do. And then second, the, the fourth thing you've got to do to start to eliminate that fear and have some strength and going with confidence, belief, and, and personal power is that you've got to get control of your emotions. So, one of the things that I tell you when you start trading live is Never start with more than one contract for one half of your position and another contract for half of your position so that you're starting with a small amount so that you don't have that fear. Oh, my God, I'm going to lose a lot of money. And oh, my God, let me click that real fast. Oh, my God. So, see, that's what's going on in your mind. So start with a small amount. Go one and one so that you can, you know, at least have some sense, okay, I lost maybe $150 or something. Keeping the amount of money lost low as opposed to, you know, oh, my God, I've lost thousands of dollars today. Oh, my God, I can't believe I did this. And so you don't beat yourself up, you see. And then, that, you know, use some small targets to get some wins underneath your belt when you first get started. Remember, we're talking about how you first get started. So you get some wins underneath your belt so that you have confidence in yourself, have confidence in your methodology. So that's what you're trying to do is to get that belief system in you, get that belief system in your methodology so that you can basically, you know, move forward with, you know, belief in yourself and confidence in yourself and confidence in your methodology. So take some small targets to start with. And, um, you know, get yourself small amounts of contracts so that this way you're not in that mental fear. So you don't want to get caught up in these jiggles going up and down and up and down. And so you've got to have a way for you not to get caught up in that. Okay. So, one of the other things that I'm going to do is, uh, is that I prepare this card every day. Okay. And this is what I'm calling the, the uh, Fear Reducer Trade Setup Card. Okay, and what I do is, if the current price action is here, I'll go 30 points above and 30 points below. And the reason is that I have, I have possibilities above the market, possibilities below the market. So that's the support and resistance lines, the major support and resistance lines, or, you know, if I notice something, that's how you determine what these numbers are. So if the current price action, and then I quantify... That's a different topic, not in this video. That's a different topic here. We quantify the strength of these major support and resistance levels. So 1099, I might have it strong here. 1089 is normal. Let's say 1069 is medium. These don't necessarily mean anything. I'm just, just showing you the concepts so that you see. 1058 is medium. 1050 is strong. 1042 is strong. 1030 is medium. 1026 is strong. So I'll go through the marketplace on the ESE Mini, and then I'll write down those things. That's on side one of the card. So that's what I put on the front of the card. So I'm looking at this while I'm trading. I have it in my left hand. 
I'm right-handed, so I execute with the right hand. So I push the button with the right hand, and I execute, and I look at the card with my left hand. So as price approaches these levels here, I'll look and say, okay, that's a pretty strong pivot. So I should, you know, so let's, let's, you know, just watch the market and see what's happening. Now, the key to preparation is this. I also have on the back of the card, the back of the card here is, is uh, you know, I got execute on these trade setups. That's, so I have that written down there. So I'm giving myself a mental command that says execute on these trade setups. So did it say think about them or did it say execute? It says execute. So I prepare for these scenarios. I prepare this, this above the line is if I'm going to take these kind of trades above this line. So if I see the 1058, this means I can either go up or down if I see it here. Then let's assume that I went up. I say, hey, 1064, the price should stall here. Then I got it 1069. If I'm still in this trade here, it says get out of the long. So that says get out. It didn't say stay in. It says, it says get out and then go short at 1067. So it says here, so if we got up to there, I don't know if we did, but I'm just saying if we did get up to there, go short at 1067 going this way. Okay? Now, if it hits this this here line here again, the second time, go long. So I have a scenario planned out to go long. Same thing happens here. I got the scenario set if we got 10.58, I say go short here. Now, you notice that this is shorter than it was up here. This was 10.58 to 10.69. This one here was 10.58 to 10.52. So it was saying here, if I got to here, get out of the short. So that means I only have this much possibility in my mind. Then if it bounces up, I'm going to go long here. And if it hits there the second time, I'm going to go short. Okay? So what I've done is, is I prepared a, a, a series of powerful possibilities. So what my proper prior, prior planning is doing is giving me powerful possibilities. And these are powerful possibilities. So I'm having this so that this way I can control my emotions and it gives me, a, it, this gives me an edge in the marketplace over people who are trying to wing it. If you've got retail traders out there trying to wing it, this here gives me that edge. It's that edge that says, hey, I'm prepared better than these other people. If you don't have this card filled out on both sides, don't trade. That means you're not ready. You're out there winging it, gambling. Trading is not a gambling game. Trading is a waiting game, waiting for your powerful possibilities, and then executing when they show up. That's what trading really is. Trading is executing when your powerful possibilities show up. So you want to make sure that you got a way to know when they show up and you got to have it written out in advance so that you have a way to approach that market with powerful confidence, power, positive expectation, believe it in your mind, getting it in your mind that you can win at this game. That's what you've got to do. And that's what this fear reducer trade setup card does. It allows you to be prepared so that you can execute on your edge. And that's what you want to do. And that way you're not hesitating. You're not getting caught up in these little jiggles. Don't allow yourself to get there. You can prepare and get yourself mentally ready. You know, watch this video several times if you need to. But get yourself, get your card ready so that you can trade every single day with the powerful possibility of making a tremendous amount of money for you and your family. It's about you getting prepared. It's about you being prepared. That's what it's about. Proper prior planning can present powerful possibilities for you every single day. Let's make this week a great trading week. Thank you.